know, if you set those reefs much better, then it's the shape of the sail and yeah. cover out a whole lot. We're really glad yeah. the meat is satisfying. Yeah. I gotta tell you. Yeah. It's good to be here. Except for when the room gets kind of full, the mind goes kind of blank. A little bit. Uh, this shows my route. I pulled into Cabo San Lucas for repairs, then hit the equator, then down south to Cape Horn. Um, it's considered the Everest of sailing, but decked out with pretty much top-notch safety equipment. Um, she ran off solar and wind generators mainly. Um, Do we have three? We've got, yeah, McMurdo. Uh, yes, we do. Having the beacon on board was a real peace of mind, you know, knowing that I had that as a last resort and knowing that, you know, if my, all my communication did go down and I was in a serious situation that I could set that off and somebody would hear. The whole satellite system, everything that they do is the reason that I'm here today. Um, and so, you, I mean, you can imagine how thankful I am to them. So that information that's coming from directly from the distress beacon to the satellites is the one key link that we have to actually find out um, where something is happening. And hopefully, again, if the beacon is registered, um, tell us who um, that beacon belongs to. The distress alerting system will carry a search and rescue repeater on a complete constellation of satellites. In the case of the GPS system, that means 24 satellites will be listening for victims all over the surface of the Earth. 